Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we are at IFA 2013. Now, here we are at the NVIDIA Suite, and we are checking out Logan in real life. So basically what we are showing here is our phase 4 demo we were showing this year on GDC using uh, our GeForce GTX Titan card, which was running almost 250 watts. And uh, you see now that we have almost the same demo here on, the, on uh, our Logan um, demo system where we basically using our mobile Kepler core and uh, it's running like uh, basically same demo in power envelope and two to three watts so it's uh, it's amazing what we are able to achieve you basically have an open GL 4.3 here and uh, we're just showing the features like a tessellation um, we have like uh, the subsurface scattering which is one of the high-end feature you know from a uh, desktop PCs it's especially looking with this mm -hmm. realistic I love the yeah, ear. Yeah, just how you can kind of yeah, see looks, through yeah, the ear. It's it it's really amazing. amazing. So it's just uh, something what I what I believe it's pretty impressive, and uh, I'm sure that no one saw this so far on the mobile class uh, mobile class system. So it's it's pretty impressive. So let me let me go now over. We can show the other demo here. So. So we're actually really lucky to, to actually be seeing this demo because yes. this, this just flew in 20 minutes right before the meeting, this Logan <laughs> yeah, Development yeah, yeah. Board. <laughs> so the other demo we have, it, it's uh, kind of the island demo where we're showing and like to show because of tessellation. So what you exactly see here, it's, it's a kind of the island which is beautiful rendered. And um, what I can show you, it's the basically how does it look when we turn on the wireframe model so you see all of uh, all the wires it's, it's pretty complex model but now we're using a tessellation so if i disable the tessellation and you see that immediately you mm. get like the big performance drop it's two to three hundred percent performance drop and everything is far to be smooth so now if i enable the tessellation which is supporting on the mobile Kepler and project rogan you basically get much smoother experience and the level of details and the, 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 the whole graphics and rendering is just beautiful this is something which we were able to see like on the really high -end desktop systems and now we're talking about the mobile class hardware so it's, it's pretty impressive what we were able to achieve yeah. so when do you think we're going to be seeing these in the consumers hot little hands so uh, we were basically uh, talking about it that the first product with the project Logan will be available in the first half of next next year so mm -hmm. it's still a little far away but it's coming and I can tell you that will be pretty pretty cool I, I can't wait by myself to, to show you the some products so it, it will be very very good yeah. perfect Igor thanks so much for taking the time to show us this uh, new Logan development board I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks taking a look at what's coming up next in mobile computing yeah.